ABCs of engineering. A is for amplifier. An amplifier makes a signal bigger. B is for battery. A battery gives power to electric circuits. C is for Carnot engine. The Carnot engine is a model of an ideal heat engine. D is for dielectric. A dielectric is a material that can be polarized. E is for electricity. Electricity is the flow of electrons. F is for force. A force is any push or pull. G is for gear. A gear is a mechanical part that transfers force. H is for hydraulics. A hydraulic machine transfers force using liquid. I is for inductor. An inductor is a device that stores energy in a magnetic field. J is for jig. A jig helps keep parts of a project in place. Key is for keystone. A keystone is the top block of an arch. L is for lever. A lever is a simple machine used to increase force. M is for multimeter. A multimeter is a tool used to measure electric circuits. N is for nanotube. Carbon nanotubes are light, strong shapes made of carbon atoms. O is for ohm. The unit of measure for electrical resistance is called ohm. P is for pipette. A pipette is a lab tool that helps measure the volume of a liquid. Q is for QR code. A QR code is a two-dimensional barcode. R is for requirements. Engineering projects need requirements to make sure everything works correctly. S is for screw. A screw is a simple machine used to hold things together. T is for tolerance. Tolerance shows how much wiggle room there is. U is for units. Units help communicate meaningful measurements. V is for viscosity. The viscosity of a fluid measures how thick it is. W is for wrench. A wrench is a hand tool that helps turn nuts and bolts. X is for xenon. Xenon is a chemical that helps make bright camera flashes. Y is for yield. Yielding is when something doesn't bounce back. Z is for zoning. Zoning helps local governments, city planners, and civil engineers plan how cities should grow. The end.